All right, so the first mod we're going to be looking at today is going to be the Chameleon Sub Mod, an advanced submarine that utilizes cloaking technology for enhanced stealth. It's a little bit steep to make, so we got three plus steel ingots, two advanced wiring kits, whatever that word says, and a computer chip. All right, so here we have our Chameleon Submarine. It's looking pretty unique, I would say. First thing I thought was a big old tube of toothpaste. Bro, for those who play Gears of War 2, whenever you had to go inside that giant worm, does that not look like those little green things that, that shot out the acid? The very front? Bro, I'm gonna pull up a picture too. And y'all gotta tell me if that looks at least a little bit similar, but that's... Anyways, let's let's take a look on the inside of the submarine. You gotta board it from the back. So we have a total of four power cells, all located on the inside of the Chameleon submarine. And it also has its own fabricator upgrade. Mark 1 depth module, Mark 2 depth module, Mark 3 depth module, and then we have the thermal reactor. Base depth is 700 meters. That is pretty good. Can we build anything on the inside is the question. You absolutely can. So as far as interior pieces go, like interior modules, you can fit. Well, not fit, but you can build anything in here that you want. But it's just going to be a matter of if it'll be able to fit in here. Because you can build the aquarium, plant shelf, grow beds, lockers. You can build fabricators, all that good stuff you can build in here. You can even build the desk and whatnot. It just needs to be able to fit in here. If it can't fit in here, then you're not going to be able to build it. So on the right side, we have the cloaking mode. I'm going to assume that it's going to make the submarine invisible, which is going to keep you from getting attacked from certain creatures that allow you to sneak by stuff. So that's pretty nice. So when using the chameleon submarine, you're most likely going to be using the cameras to navigate and whatnot because the interior window was a little bit small kind of hard to see out of so your cameras are probably going to be the best way to look around your environment but let's go in and test the cloaking on this thing so we have our blue leviathan over there from our last mod video so let's cloak and look at that he was going to come after me but now he's now he buzzed off you know he's been he don't even know i'm here so as we can see, the Chameleon Submarine is actively changing color. It's all black now. I believe it was like blue for a few seconds before. But the entirety of the submarine, yeah, now it's blue now. The entirety of the submarine is virtually invisible. Uh, what does the inside look like while we're invisible? Inside's a little bit blue, changes color just a little bit. But on the outside, we can see that the entire submarine is virtually invisible. It'll keep all the hostile creatures from being able to see us. And this is what the chameleon looks like on the outside when it is cloaked. Pretty nice, pretty cool, pretty cool. Alrighty, so that was the chameleon submarine mod. Pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. Extremely useful in going to like super hostile areas if you're trying to like gather resources and whatnot. It'll keep leviathans from, you know, coming near you as you're driving your vehicle around because, you know, you'll be invisible. So with the chameleon submarine done, we can move on to our next submarine mod. All right, so the next vehicle we're going to have on this list is going to be the Eureka Private Jet. And it's even steeper than the chameleon was. So you need two steel ingots, three advanced wiring kits, one lubricant, two enamel glass, two power cells, four synthetic fibers, and four aerial gel to make. So this is our Eureka, our nice subnautica is private jet looks pretty amazing well i do like those little lights i like these little lights right here and that's awesome i like that yeah the engines glow too i love that i love that always love shiny light it just it just does something to my brain now you will notice that the max depth is going to be 10 meters for this vehicle because obviously it's a plane so it's not meant to actually go deep underwater instead you're actually meant to fly it so i come up out the water i just keep going keep going and now we are in the air we can fly around in a little private jet and some nautica i wouldn't say it's all that practical for it from like a survival standpoint if you're gonna be like building this thing in survival but it is kind of fun to use and fly around and oh my gosh i'm about to i'm about to flip over all right let me yeah it moves pretty fast as well so that's pretty good pretty nice as well you can maybe use it to like get around the map but yeah there's not much else to say about the eureka private jet vehicle mod because you know it's essentially just exactly what it says it is it's a private jet that you can just fly around the game although i can't really see its use how it could be potentially useful in like a survival scenario it's still super fun to use oh my gosh i'm about to blow up in this thing but with that we can head on to our last mod all right so now that we are on land we can finally showcase the last mod and the last mod on this list is going to be the weather mod it's called the epic weather mod if we do because i have i have the weather paused right now because it kept moving around so if we do pause weather Wait out, no, unpause. Okay, now the weather's unpaused. As we can see, it is currently raining in this game now. Now there are multiple... Oh, it's a thunderstorm. Okay, my phone. The screen just shook at everything. Okay. That storm, that thunder sounds kind of real, don't it? Bro, are we sure this ain't no hurricane? This don't sound like no regular thunderstorm. It sounds like the wind blowing and everything. All right, anyways. So there's multiple different, there's multiple types of weather that you can use in this mod. So if we do set weather, it'll show us all the different types of weather that you can spawn in. 
So we got clear skies, light rain, thunderstorm, golden thunderstorm, foggy, and windy. It seems like we're in a mix of a thunderstorm and windy right now, because that's so what it sounds like. Oh, let me see if it sounds any different if we go inside the base. I'm gonna put that glass dome on so we can see the top. Let me inside, let me inside. Dang, it's, it's, it's freaking loud out here. Dang, it does sound a little bit different, like the rain is gone, but we can still hear the thunder pretty clearly. Look at that, that is awesome. All right, hold on. Oh my gosh, okay, dang. This weather is going crazy. I didn't think it was gonna go this hard now. All right, thunder's gone, sky is clear. Now we're back to regular subnautical weather. So clear skies is basically just the standard subnautical weather. So let's see, what are the other weathers? We're gonna test all the weathers and then that'll be this video. So we have light rain, so let's do set weather light rain okay okay that's not that's not too bad not too not anything too crazy because it is you know it's just it's just some light rain it does sort of set the mood a little bit though because it's got some nice little fog in the background so i think we just saw we just saw the thunderstorm so let's do the golden thunderstorm set weather there's three one two what the did that fuck hold on slam it down is that pretty bad hey, okay it definitely was it definitely was pretty bad what in davy jones locker am i looking at whoa, nah, 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 nah. whoa let's not do that oh i hear the music i don't like that i don't can we not do this please can we not ah. aside from unless it's thundering like we can hear right now it's thundering right now and i can still hear it even though i'm underwater all right i think the the lightning was like golden freddy's face or something like that that was that was freaking strange though when i when i typed in golden thunderstorm i wasn't expecting freddy fazbear to so drop them from the sky let's do the next one which is going to be foggy so set weather again all, all right yep don't know what i was expecting uh okay right, this island's a little bit scarier now if it's foggy outside I can barely see anything around here you see and it sounds like the wind kicks up as well i don't know and then we have the last one which is going to be windy Well, it seems like the windy weather doesn't really, it doesn't make like a big old change. Okay, now it's raining. Nope, now the thunderstorm's back. But we already experienced this before. The only thing it really changed was like making like the sounds of the wind. That's all I could really hear. But aside from that, it didn't look like it changed the environment or anything like that. It didn't add any extra fog. I mean, I think it did a little bit, but it didn't do all that much. But yeah, that was the epic weather mod. Can completely change the atmosphere of your game. Pretty awesome. I really like that. Even the golden, the whole Freddy Fazbear thing, honestly, that was kind of funny too. Actually, let me let me set that. We can end it on this note. Feel free to let me know what your favorite mod was out of all these on this list in the comments below. But other than that, that's about all I have for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.